with so much growth and the fact that you're bringing on these distributed training partners, um, I imagine that there's, uh, there's some emphasis on train the trainer operations, um, especially with the new changes that are rolling out every year, um, updates to the, the curriculum and that kind of thing. Um, so can you talk a little bit about what it looks like to um, onboard some of your trainers? Yeah, you bet. And it's been an evolution, as you can expect. Um, these relationships are fairly new still for us. It's, you know, about five years. Uh, when we started off, so first off, we have our own faculty, as I mentioned before, and we have experience with onboarding our faculty. Uh, one thing we know about them is that they're privacy experts. So they certify, we know they know the content, we know they have the experience. One thing our trainers might not have is experience as an instructor. So we recently actually have started producing some materials that help our experts understand the basics of instruction. Um, we also help them to understand the types of questions they might get during their instruction, especially where many of the people taking our courses are actually going to pursue certification. So there can be questions about the exam. Um, for our instructors, we have kind of a mentor relationship with our more experienced instructors. And when we onboard somebody, we expect them to deliver a small portion of one of our classes, and then we evaluate them based on how well they're able to impart knowledge in that classroom and manage the classroom. It's a little different for our channel partners. Uh, when we first started those relationships, we were able to support our channel partners by identifying people within our own privacy community who had expressed interest in training. So we were able to actually uh, hook them up with established privacy professionals that they would then put through their own onboarding programs before they put them in front of a classroom. So most of our channel partners, you would expect they've got their own onboarding programs. They're all pretty similar. There's some subtle differences. Now we certainly expect those trainers again to be certified. And in an effort to help scale, we have 125 training partners right now in almost 40 different countries. That's so, enormous. Yeah, it is. We've scaled very rapidly um, to continue to support them and scale their ability to deliver our training and identify trainers and, and onboard trainers. We continue to look at how we can mature the train the trainer program we have. So some of the aspects of the train the trainer program we provide to our own instructors, instructors we provide to them. Um, so they get access certainly to the materials they need to certify. They get access to uh, those, those best practices for public speaking and being an instructor. Uh, we provide them as well with some contextual stories. So some of their instructors might not have the depth of experience with privacy and data protection. So we've worked with our own faculty and created contextual stories. Uh, we deliver those as videos um, in a portal to help those instructors understand the context, some contextual examples for privacy and data protection. Um, and they bring those back to the classroom. 